What's up, guys? Today, I'd like to explain about electric vehicle market in China and investment ideas for BYD stocks. Let's get started. Based on IEA, vehicle market size in 2020 is 73 million units. Out of total market, 28% comes from China market. On the other hand, in terms of electric vehicle market, 58% comes from China market in 2019 and 39% comes from China market in 2020. This is because the first half of 2020 was overshadowed by the COVID-19 lockdowns causing unprecedented declines in monthly vehicle sales from February onwards. Therefore, electric vehicles in China is essential for car manufacturers. Here we have the chart that shows positioning maps to illustrate the customer perception of each brand in China based on price and type of vehicles, electric and traditional. To the left, as you can see, we have high, mid, and low in terms of price, and we have electric and traditional at the bottom. In high-end price segment, Tesla and NIO are competing each other. In mid-end segment, Xpeng, Lioto, Gili, and BYD is competing each other. And here we have the chart that shows price coverage by brand. BYD offers products for volume zone market segments in between 150,000 and 250,000 Chinese yuan that can be estimated at 25,000 to 40,000 US dollars. However, Tesla is missing products in these price segments which happen to be quite significant volumes on. So, BYD is number one ranking market share in Chinese electric vehicle market. BYD has 20% of market share that can be estimated at 150,000 electric vehicles sold until November 2020. Tesla has 12% of market share. Without further ado, I would like to introduce business model and investment ideas for BYD company today. BYD is probably most commonly known as a Chinese battery and EV maker that Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway took a 25% stake in. It operates its business through three segments. Rechargeable battery, mobile handset components and assembly service, automobiles and related products. The rechargeable battery segment manufactures and sells lithium-ion and nickel batteries principally for mobile phones, electric tool, and other portable electronic instruments and new energy products. The mobile handset components segments consist of mobile handset components such as housings, keypads, and provision of assembly services. The automobiles segment comprises of automobiles, auto-related malls and components, automobiles leasing, after-sales service, and SkyRail related business. The company was founded on February 10, 1995 and is headquartered in Shenzhen, China. Here we have the chart that shows spec comparison between Han from BYD and Model 3 from Tesla. In terms of price, price of Han is 229,800 N, while price of Model 3 is 249,900. BYD has better max power, battery capacity, and driving range. In all aspects, BYD has a competitive advantage compared to Tesla. Unlike other EV makers such as NIO and Xiaopeng, BYD has electric commercial vehicles in 10 market segments, buses, coaches and taxis, logistics, construction, and sanitation vehicles, and vehicles for warehousing, port, airport, and mining operations. BYD makes the two most expensive components of an electric vehicle. The battery, IGBT, which stands for Insulted Gate Bipolar Transistors. IGBT is considered the CPU of an EV. These two components account for 42% of the total manufacturing cost of an EV. Manufacturing these two components has always afforded BYD an advantage in its margin. BYD is the only automaker to produce either component. Now let's move on to 10 stock metrics for BYD stock. First, is this market growing? China electric vehicle market grows by annual growth rate 14%. Do I put green? Second, are they good at this market? Third quarter revenue increased by 48% compared to the past year. So market grows exponentially and BYD is good at this market. So I put green. Third, is this company profitably growing? 
Dark quarter EPS growth rate is 800%, so I put green. Lastly, is current market price overvalued? PR is 133.93 and forward PR is 86.21. Likewise, here we have the chart that shows comparison between cash from operations and price in the past years. Cash from operations increased by 175%, while stock price increased by 322%. So price and cash flow go to the same direction, but price is overvalued. So in sum, BYD stock includes 3 greens and 1 red based on 10 stock metrics. Finally, here we have the chart that shows my portfolio as of December 29, 2020. It's pretty much about it today. Today, I've discussed about China electric vehicle market and investment ideas for BYD stock. Next time, I would like to talk about cycle as the third time and how the economic machine works by Ray Dalio. Make sure to smash the like button below and comment down your suggestions for my future videos. Stay tuned and see you guys later in the next episode. Peace.